Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to create a Snowflake account because after this, we need to start and we need to start our hands on and we need to start working in Snowflake and we need to see different facts, features and, you know, the technical points that we have in Snowflake. So let's move on, you know, and see how we can actually go ahead and create Snowflake account. So to do that, you essentially need to log in to Snowflake portal, right? So essentially, you need to go to www.snowflake.com slash login slash and, the moment, and you will actually land on this particular page. I will leave the link to this uh, particular uh, page in my description box. You can directly log in from there. After that, what you essentially need to do is you can actually see that, you know, uh, it kind of explains you as well over here right that snowflake is accessible accessible to uh, snowflake customers here use login instructions provided by snowflake to authenticate and if you're not a snowflake customer you can start your 30 day free trial to get immediate access to the data cloud right so for this what you can do is on the left hand on the right hand side top option there is an uh, on the top side there's an option for start for free just click on that option and after that, it will actually route you to the Snowflake trial version account creation page. Now you will see that you will actually land into this particular page. Now, let me say I am kind of, you know, putting in my, you know, name and email and then, you know, whether you want to receive any emails from the uh, Snowflake or not company, let's say you can write anything like, let's say XYZ and then let me click on continue now the moment i click on continue you can see that these are the version right these are the snowflake edition that it is asking you to choose from right and it also says start your 30 day free snowflake trial which includes 400 dollar worth of free usage right and in that 30 day free trial right what all things you are going to get gain immediate access to data cloud enable your most critical data workloads right scale instantly elastically and near infinite across public clouds right snowflake is hipaa compliance soc 1 soc 2 type compliance so these are basically the compliance that you need to follow as an organization so for example you're dealing with a healthcare data then you need to you know uh, be, uh, you, uh, your, whatever uh, uh, product you use that needs to be hipaa compliant right so now after cho choosing that let us say that we want to use enterprise version right enterprise edition now in this case what essentially we want to do i already explained to you that for snowflake right you have it is a cloud hosted so you can choose any of these three clouds we have already explained i've already explained this in my ppts earlier in my previous videos that you know you can host it on azure cloud amazon web service or google cloud platform right and when you choose uh, microsoft azure then behind the scene you know the storage is essentially your blob storage and then you actually select the location right you can choose whatever location of your choice uh, and then just select and click on get started right and then you can see it says account setup in progress and then it says that you are now signed up an email to activate your account has been sent to this particular email id why did you sign up for snowflake account just you know uh, let's say training or certification let's say and hit submit and by in the meantime i'll go to my uh, you know uh, my gmail and we will actually see you know uh, the invite to activate my account so guys you can actually see that i got this email right from snowflake computing right i got this email and it says click on the button below to activate so let me and it also says that please note that your activation link is temporarily and will expire in for 72 hours right so let me just click on this particular link to activate and you can see that it has you know started uh, to route me to a completely new page where I need to give my username and my password. So let me just put in the username. Let's say Bhavna uh, YouTube, right? Uh, no, I, I think let me just write Bhavna Bedi, right? And let me just type in the password. 
so now you can see that i have actually typed in my password and i have typed in my username remember that this username is the one which you will always use to log into the snowflake portal and now let's click on get started now uh this is how your snowflake you know uh page looks like right this is how your snowflake ui will look like so since it is uh, you know uh, if you see on the left hand side since it has actually uh, you know being auto clicked on learn so that is why you have all these documentation links over here so in this if you want to go ahead and you know the check for the documentation you can actually go ahead check for the documentation see how you can load the data you know how you can query visualize and share your data because data sharing is also possible in snowflake but at the same time remember that there are two types of console there is an option for the classic console as well however you can actually go ahead click on worksheets here and you can start working uh you know uh, on th on these worksheets you have your dashboards over here you have your data you have your marketplace so you have this is a ui that you have but essentially you can also go to something called as classic console so if i click on this classic console option so the moment i clicked on my classic console option you can actually see i'm asked to type in my username so let me just type in my username that i have given and also let me type in my password so now let me just click on sign in uh, let me just recheck my password so now after putting in my password you can actually see that uh, you know i am actually uh, you know inside the whole snowflake ui right so any updates you will actually get them as a notification over here so let me just uh, you know there is another new ui which they have built but that's fine we are not going to uh you know go in detail about that so just click over here and i uh, let me just remove it so now this is your the url for your uh, you know snowflake this is how the whole ui look like right and we are going to discuss in detail what exactly does this ui have what does it contain what does it mean how we can query the data and how we can give the permissions like quite a lot of thing so in this video i just wanted to show you how we can activate our snowflake account right so i hope you can actually follow the same videos and start using snowflake so thank you so much for being till here